Hey, hey, what's up everyone, Mr. P here. I wanted to speak a little bit more in regards to the quantum physics information we shared, we shared from Nassim last night. But before I do that, I have a question for you. So, how much do you believe that we're just a pack of neurons that's unconnected with anything else, that it's just us, it's just Pericles, it's just this personality, this body, and it has nothing to do with nature or other people. Um, and then, you know, we live our life and we have fun. And then when we die, we go to heaven or hell or whatever, or you don't even know what we, what happens when we die. So you don't think about it. How much do you have, how much of your worldview is in that area? And how much of your worldview is in the fact that we are more than this body? We are this soul underneath that's interconnected with everything around us and everything has this soul and really me and you is just another version of the same thing which is god um, and we're all this huge one living organism that's here to have fun and evolve at the same time how much of your of your worldview is over there and the reason i ask this question is because based on how much of our, of our worldview is on either way I can tell you how you're acting on a, on a daily basis. I can, I, can, I can tell you how much love you have for the other person. I, it's quite obvious, you know, how much love one has for nature when he believes that nature is not part of him. I can also feel how much love one has for someone else when they feel that that someone else is who he is. You know, so our worldview really shapes how we live our life on a daily basis. The actions we do, our beliefs shape what we do. Do we come from ego or unconditional love? Um, and really, we all have a lot of the first worldview because we've been brainwashed by science and religion and other stuff uh, that really just wants us, that, that really just wants to belittle us and steal our energy. And really the best way to steal someone's energy is make them believe they have no energy. Make them believe they're just a piece of meat, only neurons, only biology, with no soul, and the brain is everything. Um, and then uh, you're, it's just you and nature is not connected to you. Other people are not connected to you. You are Pericles and that's it. And just have fun, Pericles, and don't care what happens to other people. You know, that's how, what we've all been brainwashed. So we all still have some of those beliefs. But the question is... Do they really empower us? I don't think so, you know? I mean, look at the world. Um, and actually, they're completely wrong. <laughs> sorry if you still believe in all of that. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you, but uh, you are wrong. Uh, the latest science disagrees with that, you know? And it's been many hundreds of years since this information, this right side, you know, that we're all one and that there's this energy that's connecting all of us, this empty space. Um, but they keep burning the individuals. Right? I mean, the first person that oops, my phone. Uh, the first person that really spoke about it was Giovanni Bruno, I believe, in 1600. Um, and he started. He was a physicist, and he started saying how there's this ether around all the planets, and all the planets are interconnected. And uh, you know, the organisms on the planet are just small cells within the planet, and the planet's alive, and everything's rotating around it. Um, and they burned him alive. You know, the Catholic Church, the Vatican, just burned the guy in public. The second one who came up was Galileo, he's very famous, and he started really observing the stars and the universe and really backed the theory of Giovanni uh, and really started pushing out that humans are not just a piece of meat, we're more than just our body, there's something called energy which is everywhere, um, and they put Galileo in house arrest for 10 years, you know. So if we go back in history, we just see this pattern of how the Catholic Church is controlling science because the Catholic Church wants to belittle you and have you live in fear so that it's much easier to control you and take your energy. Um, and then what they did, which was very smart, they separated themselves into science and religion and then they said science is facts and they put only false information in science with maybe like 10% truth. So then people are like, religion is a scam, but science, oh, science is righteous. Well, actually, no, science is worse than religion. <laughs> um, but now it's 2020, you know, quantum physics is very advanced and there's tons of theories and experiments and proofs and evidence which shows that within us, within our cells, there's the DNA, within the DNA, there is the atom, within the atom, there's the nucleus and around the nucleus, there is this electron that's turning around, but actually they only take 0.1% of the space of us. And actually, and actually within us, everything that there is, is just empty space, nothing else. But this empty space is not really empty, you know, it's just this trillions of vibratory fluctuations that are consistently going like and actually, in fact, all we are is energy, but the energy that is within me, this space is within you and within everything around us. Nothing is really solid, you know? Um, and the smallest, smallest empty space area, the smallest particle is the exact same thing as the entire universe. 
the whole is contained in the smallest particle. It's, it's called uh, fractal and holographic universe, you know, the golden ratio, the Fibonacci sequence. And Nassim Haramein was the first one to prove it in 2012 before they even had the instruments to prove it. He proved that the mass of one of our atoms is the exact same mass as the mass of a black hole. Let me say that again. The mass of one of our single atoms is the exact same mass in the exact same volume as the entire black hole. The smallest particle contains the largest particle. And really, Understanding that, how does that change us? It makes us understand that really, I am just another you. I'm just a, a soul that's that's really just ether, just endless energy, and we are all one. We're all interconnected. The universe, nature, animals, the stars, everything is just this empty space, which is really energy. And really, the purpose of the universe is to to well, the purpose they say the purpose of life is to live life. Um, the meaning of life, as my good friend um, Brail says, is to protect and recreate life. And really, we come to the incarnation so that we can learn and have fun and evolve as a whole. Um, and there's no hell, there's no heaven, you know, we have unlimited lives. And the goal is really to just evolve through living our passion and joy. And really, there's a purpose. And really, being able to understand this quantum physics, which is really out there. I mean, mo honestly, most of us are lazy. We don't do research. We just take what's given to us. But with a bit of proactivity, you can really you can really see all the experiments, the double slit experiment, the experiment that Nassim did in 2012. You know, this is all science. It's just not mainstream because if it was mainstream, you wouldn't be controlled. And look at you, look at us now. At 11 o'clock, we have to go home and wear a mask outside, you know? Um, so of course they don't push it out each the people that run the world have a different agenda than you but they can't stop you there's a law in this universe which is the law of free will and they cannot bypass that um to some extent but uh, yeah anyhow lots of love especially for the spiritual people i strongly recommend getting into the science behind spirituality the quantum physics because really what you're already intuitively feeling um, what your heart is telling you, what your soul is telling you, what you're seeing on Instagram and all the spiritual groups and what your healer is telling you, it's all science. It's all goddamn science and that's the most beautiful part. And once you start understanding the science and having it in here, your confidence is unbearable. You can have people come at you, the most doctors, physicists, and you're like, you have no idea what you're talking about. And you will live through it. You will live a life which represents your beliefs and people will be like, He's like, yo, I got different beliefs than you, man. It's I, I did my research and well. <laughs> Anyhow, I shared what I wanted to share. My phone, I think that was a message to stop speaking. Lots of love. Um, let me know if you need any help with the quantum physics stuff. I'm happy to point the direction and uh, have a good night.